10 reasons why our children are cursed. These are the purpose. 10 reasons why our children are cursed. And these are the purpose. What are the purpose, preacher? I'm so glad you asked. They have lost their respect for leadership. Yes, they have lost their, their, their respect for mother and father. The Bible says, honor thy mother and father that they, they belong upon the earth. That's number one. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number two, they let their looks. Now, this is 10 L's. They, number one, they lost their respect for leadership. They let their look get their head as a peacock. Yes, a peacock is a male. He needs to flush his feather. So they let their look get through their head as a peacock. Number three, they, they live with pride of overconfident. I don't need you. I can do without attitude. That's number three. Hey, Lord. Number four, they think because they are adults, they can use any kind of language to their parent. They think they can cuss their parent out, F's and B's, and get away. Hey, glory to God. Hey, remember, my friend. Hey, uh, uh, ten reasons why our children are cursed because of these are the purpose. Hey, glory to God. And number, number fifth reason, Lucifer become the gods, and they don't know it. Lucifer become their God and they don't know it. In, in Isaiah 14 chapter, verse 13 and 14, and listen to what I say. For though I, for though I said in thy heart, I would ascend into heaven, I would exalt my throne above the stars of heaven. I will sit among the mount of the congregation in the sight of the north. I would ascend above the height of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So pride got in the way of Lucifer and Jesus Christ said, I saw Satan as lightning that fell from heaven. So these are the reasons why our children are cursed because these are the purpose. Number six reason, their love of respect have departed from the average youth in our world. They talk back, they cuss their parent out, Yes, they talk back and they cuss their parent out. And you think, the Bible says, if you curse your mother, your light going to go out. Hey, glory to God. In Proverbs 20, 20. Hey, glory to God. These children are living in luxury and think they're living in heaven. Their lifestyle is not heaven. It, it is a materialistic world. Like Donna, like, like Madonna. She lives in a material world. You think that you're having shoes. You think you're having all these things. You are in heaven. You're not in heaven. You're in, you're in a place prepared to go to heaven or to go to the lake of fire. Why our children are cursed and these are the purpose. Hey, glory to God. Number eight, they, they ask the Lord out of their life and choose worldly living than serving God. They, they, they ask God out of their life. They're like Xmas. They ask God out their life. After all your years in church, as you get older, you say, damn God. I want nothing to do with God. And they live in a curse because I forget about the bridge that carried them over. They, they bite the hand that feed them. It's, it's amazing how our children, after nine months in, in the womb, I know you, I know you wasn't, you wasn't, you wasn't asked to come in this world. But at least have some respect. At least honor your parents. Don't cuss at them. Don't talk back at them. Don't scream at them. Don't holler at them. But my children does this. Yes, I can tell you, my friend, anytime a child raise their voice at their mother or their father, curse gonna come on up on that child. Because the Bible says, honor their mother and father that your days be long upon this earth. And you can't be a cusser and cuss your mother out toe to toe talking to your mother and expect to, to get away with it. No, my friend, you, the Bible said honor, respect your mother and father that your day be long upon this earth. Look at my brother. That's in Jamaica. He's cursed. Hey, glory to God, because he's be toe to toe with my mother. 
He lived a life of damnation, and he got nerve to be an atheist. After all that God has done for him, he turned his back on God. And guess what? God has turned his back on you. Hey, glory to God. But God is loving. If you repent, God will turn his back and say, I come, my child. But you can't expect to curse God out and expect God to, to, to accept it. Hey, glory to God. God is a loving God, but God anger endured but a moment. That's why he gave us a choice. And a choice is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's why I tell people, my friend, God don't put you to hell. You decide to go to hell. And hell is not on earth. Yes, hell is not on earth. One day we're going to open our eyes like the rich man. And it's not a parable. It's actualization. Some of y'all in all this organization don't believe in hell. How can you believe in heaven but don't believe in hell? Come on, tell me. How can you believe in heaven but don't believe in eternal damnation? Jesus Christ talk more about hell than heaven. Because the average people are going to hell right in the church. Starting from the pulpit to the door. Hey, glory to God. Number nine reason, my friend. They laugh at our, our oldness, thinking they, they will stay young forever. They, they're not getting old, because they're dying by the, by the bongo. They're dying like the domino effect. You are, you are you laughing at the elderly, and one day you might not live to be 70. You're going to die. A truck going to come and hit you while you're on a sidewalk, because you're ungrateful. Child, you might be cute, but my friend, God going to cut your life. Yes, you might be cute, but God going to cut your life. Number 10th reason, these children live in a lie knowing they are not happy living or having all the money, living life, but they are not happy deep within. What I'm saying to you, my friend, why our children are curses and these are the purpose. They lost their respect. They let the, the looks get to their head. They have pride. They're living in overconfident. Yeah, they think that 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 the, the adult they can talk to the adult any kind of way because I'm I'm old enough. I can cuss you up, mom. I can cuss your father. I can tell I can tell you what what I think about my boots. Yeah, I I can tell you. I told my daughter about the shoes she have on the Uchi Mama. My friends, I thought she was gonna hit me. She started talking back. Hey, glory to God. Yes, your shoes you have on is a Uchi Mama shoe. Prostitute wear those kind of boots. And what the tension you drawn to old men, even though you were at the age of 17. What the average Joe thinking about when you're wearing those boots? Are you a hawk or are you an adult? Or are you a person that's in, in grade school? Respect, honor. That's why children are not successful. They get A's and B and end up in the many ways jobs. You make A's and B and work at a McDonald's. You make A's and B working at Dollar Tree, making twelve dollars an hour. You make A's and B. You a janitor. You a bum because you forget about the sun that shine on your back. I'm talking about why our children become cursed. Honor. Your mother and your father, that your day be long upon this earth. Honor, come respect. Don't talk about your. Don't talk to your mother any kind of way, because you're cutting your lifespan. Don't talk to your father any kind of way. You're cutting your lifespan. You gotta honor your mother and your father. They're getting old, but don't mean you you talk down on them. Yes, they're getting old. Don't mean you gotta despise them. They can oh, you stick him. People stick him in the nursing home. They stick him there, and then leave them. Don't even come visit their parent. My friend, we might be senior citizen, but we are senior. But you might not live to be seniors. You're gonna die at 21. You're gonna die at 18 with overdose, with sex, STD, AIDS, herpes. But we are seniors. Hey, but you might not live to be, be, be 21. You're not live to be 18. Because respect. Life, the Bible says life and death in the power 
of the tongue, and they that love the fruit thereof. The Bible says, by thy word thou justify, and by thy word thou shalt be condemned. You're going to be hanged by your tongue. Yes, you're going to be hanged by your tongue. Your tongue going to hang you because you don't respect the elderly. I never seen so many ungrateful children in my life. Rude and nasty. Even though they, that's what the Bible says, beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. I ain't never seen so many ungrateful children. After all these years worked, when we get older, they just throw us to the, just throw us in, in, in just, just throw us away, move us away. You trash dad, you trash mom, you old mom, you old dad. Hey, glory to God. What I'm saying to you as watching this video, love your mother, love your father, honor leadership, take care of your parents. Because if you take care of your parents, they're going, God will take care of you. Your parents, that's why I don't understand people. Why they want to hide their gray hair? The more you hide, they're going to turn silver. So the best thing to do, let your gray hair grow. Because one day, my friend, we all going to get old. And that's why I say that why children are cursed. Because these are the purpose. The language they use, they cuss their mother out, call her bees. How can you, how can you stand on two feet and cuss at your mother? How can you be on two feet and talk down to your mother? How can you argue with your father? How can you look down at your father and say, "Come on, it's I never, I never, my friend. I can tell you, I'm, I'm telling you from my heart, I never talk bad about my mother." Now, now when I say talk bad, I mean I never mean back talk my mother in front of her face. I never call her no names in her face. Now, I never been toe to toe my mother or my father. I remember the time I say something to my father. My father said, "A a soft answer turn away wrath." That's the only scripture he told me. So I respect elder. That's why I'm blessed. And the average. Young people right now, they are cursed because they're cursing their mother and their father out. How can you be blessed when you curse your mother and your father out? When the parents get old, they just diss them. They don't even give them nothing. I, listen, I got seven children, and my seven children should, should at least give me $100, even though they can't pay for parenting. They can't pay for that. But the more children I have, I shouldn't like nothing. My wife shouldn't like nothing. Now you up in you're up on the Gold Coast. You live in large, and you just treat us like we trash. But we're not trash. We are treasure. We're not junk. We are jewel. Hey, we're not dirt. We are diamonds. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling kid, if you if you are a, a youth right now watching this video, love your mother. Buy her flowers, not just on Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, but buy her flowers every day. Your father, treat your father with respect. If he's a good father, treat him with respect. Even if he's a deadbeat dad, call him every now and then. Because of the purpose why he deadbeat. So I'm telling parents, I'm telling kids to love your mother. Love your father. I wish I had an opportunity to know my mother. I wish I had an opportunity to know my father. Even right now, I'm 54 years old, wondering my mother that passed away 10 years ago was it really my mother. And my father that passed away 70 years ago, I, it really my father. Because I didn't grow up with a mother and I didn't grow up with a father. I grew up with the heavenly father who art in heaven. So I'm telling young people, especially my children and that are watching this video love your father and love your mother because by you loving them it become like you winning the lottery and if you curse them it's like you win the lottery and you die the next day as soon as you receive the ticket of success so love your mother treat your mother like like she's a queen don't wait for Mother's Day to buy her things. Don't wait for Father's Day to buy him. That's 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 a, a, a materialistic world, mass communication world. But buy your parents' gift when you have the opportunity. 
Just don't wait for a special day that men set. But love your mother and love your father. Anytime you have a mother and father in a home and you treat your mother more better than you treat your father. Come on. Love and honor your parents. Your parents going to be a paycheck for you. And if you diss them, life going to diss you. You're going to become a curse because you don't love your mother. You don't love your father. You cussing your father out and cuss your mother out, you won't be prosper. And your Bible says your light going to go out. So love your mother and love your father. Let me pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, bless this daughter right now that cuss her father out. Bless this this daughter that cuss her mother out. Call her bees and call her all these names, oh God. Forgive her, oh God. Give her heart of repentance to go back and apologize to her mother. Apologize to her father. Oh God, bless our children. Let them have Ecclesiastes 12th chapter. Remember that creator in the days of youth. While the evil day come at night, and they say, have, no, have no pleasure in them. Bless our children. Bless our youth right now. Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Love your mother. And treat your father with respect. Yes, treat your father with respect. Love your parents.